It is going to be a great day because we are going hygiene shopping at Marshall's. I'm so excited. I've been seeing all over the place just the best finds at Marshall's. So I'm really hoping that we can find some things. I'm not really looking to buy a lot. I will say I probably won't have a huge haul to show you guys, but I'm definitely interested in looking at what we've got in our store. I wanna see some decor. I'd love to see if I can find some jewelry and maybe some purses because I've seen some really pretty autumn colored purses around. I would love to find some candles as well. I really, really need some hair care products because I'm almost out of shampoo and conditioner. So we'll definitely be checking out that section, but if you are interested, then just keep watching. We are going to go shopping at Marshall's. Honestly, I cannot believe that this was the first thing that I walked into in the store. This entire array of Halloween handbags, just the cutest things ever. I think most of these were Betsy Johnson, but these little <laughs> pumpkins were so cute. This is a witch's cauldron little bucket bag. I cannot. They had a pink pumpkin too. She was so adorable. I like that this one is like 3D. She's like round. So cute. And then this beautiful glittery handbag. So the front is this scary looking jack-o'-lantern. And then the back, she has little heart eyes. So I thought she was super adorable. These were all under 30 bucks. This one is so classic, like Halloween town looking. And then the black ones I thought are so cute if you are more like a, into a gothic kind of Halloween vibe. This one was glittery. You guys, I really should have picked one of these up. They're so cute. And then of course we had to check out the accessories section because it was fully stocked. This whole front section of the jewelry was all Halloween earrings. They had so many different ones and actually a ton of uh, Disney earrings, so many like Mickey ghosts and Minnie with her cute little ears. And I love these little hoops. I feel like that's the perfect addition. Looks like an everyday kind of hoop, but is Halloween. Those little bow earrings were so cute. They have some small ones and some really large ones for if you prefer like a stud or if you prefer a dangly earring. I just thought there were so many fun ones. There's even like some Thanksgiving ones with turkeys. And look at this mini. She's holding her little pumpkin spice latte. So just so many fun ones. And then, ooh, okay, can we talk about how cute that bracelet was? I did consider getting it, but I did not get it, but <laughs> so cute. And then so many hair accessories. I really should have bought something for like giving away to my girlfriends because they were so cute. They had tons of scrunchies and clips and some bows and things like that. So just really cute stuff. Now we are getting into the hygiene, body care, all that good stuff. So first off in the case, I did find some Burberry women's perfumes. And then this new brand, I don't know, Alt. I've never heard of this before. You guys will have to let me know if you tried them, but some really yummy sounding fall scents. And then here's just like a little overview of the case, not a ton. I did, however, find this entire end cap of Hello Kitty stuff. They had makeup brushes, they had mirrors, they had little ear bands, little beauty blenders, like so many cute things. I also found this Corpse Bride makeup set. So there was this setting mist and then also a lip oil. I thought that was really fun if you are into that movie. I remember watching it as a kid and it was really cute. And then this whole end cap of hand soaps. They had so many different cute bottles and things. And I did find two Homeworks hand soaps in here. So I found Hot Cider Donut as well as some makeup palettes. They had Stitch, they had Nightmare Before Christmas, and a Winnie the Pooh one. And then here's the other hand soap from Homeworks in Spooky Spider Cider. So those are fun and really huge. I also found this peach one, which is great if you are not into, you know, the, all the fall scents. I also found a few things from Philosophy. So this is a vanilla birthday cake, shower gel, and fresh cream hand lotion. I thought that was really cute. I found this adorable little body scrub. It is a orange body scrub and I just loved the packaging on that. And then I've never seen Philosophy body scrubs in person. So this is basil cucumber. I really 
wanted to consider getting it but that's just not my scent preference so i wish i found it in a different scent because i definitely would have picked something up but again more hello kitty stuff these are some huge gigantic bath bombs you could probably cut them in half um, and then i found a ton of shower steamers which would be great because we are coming upon cold and flu season so you never know when you're going to need some shower steamers and then this new brand you have to let me know if this is a sol de janeiro dupe but Sirua, Sirua, I don't know how to say that. They had a ton of stuff from this brand, so it is newer to the store, I think. And then I did find some Tree Hut old coffee scrubs. Those are definitely from like two years ago though, so I would be careful with that. But I did also find a ton of Epsom salts and Dr. Teal's stuff. And then I found the cutest aromatherapy diffusers. So many adorable things for Halloween. They had witch's cauldrons, they had a beautiful haunted house, they had some ghosts, some lanterns, just the cutest stuff ever over here. And then I found this random red light therapy wand, which I thought was amazing because I'm pretty sure this is over $100. So just thought I'd show you guys that because that is a great find. Next, we are moving on to candles, and I found some beautiful tortoiseshell candles. These are both from Sand and Fog. So the first one was Apple Spice, and the second one was actually Cracked, which is so sad, but look how gorgeous this candle is. And this one was Autumn Harvest, which I thought was really a good scent. It smelled amazing. And then I found these really cute, I don't even know what to call these, like honey pot jar candles. And of course, a disco pumpkin and some more pumpkin candles. All of them were just so cute. This little ghosty girl, she was adorable. This is Wicked Pumpkin Apple Cider was the scent. And these were all very affordable. Here is the full candle aisle. That was just the end cap. Look at this beautiful candle. Okay, more of the honey pot ones. These just look so much fun. And this one was Apple Honey Butter. And then look how cute these little ones are like milk cartons, pumpkin creamer. This is so cute. And I did also find pumpkin cold brew. These were so adorable, $7.99 for this just like beautiful design, I think is totally worth it. And then of course we found a ton of DW Holmes candles and some of these beautiful, like, I don't know, boba tea candles. I also found a ton of the little like soda can ones, which I'll show you later. I gathered them all around and just so many fun candles. I cannot believe I scored so well in this aisle, but here's some more of the DW Homes ones. Look how cute they are. The little mini ones are just the cutest. Sparkling apple cider. This one I think was my favorite out of all of them. And then of course I have to go check out the pajama section. I found some really cute dog ones. And of course we found some slippers and then some really beautiful printed ones for fall. I love these navy ones and then also these like cranberry ones, just super cute. Okay, we are back from Marshalls. I think that was probably the best Marshalls that I've been to in a long time. So I actually stopped by this one on the way home from a friend's house. So it is a little further from me than I would typically go. And I swear this one had the best stuff. It's kind of like in the middle of nowhere. So I did find what I went for, which is shampoo and conditioner. These are the big jumbo size in the Joico Moisture Recovery line. So I got shampoo and conditioner. These are both 20 bucks. And I believe they're like 35 if you get them off of Ulta. But this is my favorite shampoo and conditioner line. I've been using it for years. I have a very dry scalp. And so this really helps me. And I have frizzy, curly, naturally curly hair. So this also helps with some moisture just because curly hair is by default just very dry. And then something that I'm really excited to find is always a great day when you find Briogeo at Marshall's Home Goods TJ Maxx because this stuff is so expensive. So this was $14.99. I will put the price on the screen of what it is regularly, but this is the Scalp Revival Charcoal and Tea Tree Cooling Hydration Scalp Mask. I am so excited to use this. This looks amazing. Um, I've always wanted to try their charcoal tea tree line. I've tried, I think, just the scalp serum before. I've never tried anything else. And I think I've actually tried their little mini scalp scrub in the line. 
So this is the scalp mask. It says apply directly to the scalp and massage in and leave on for 10 minutes and then rinse it out. So I'm excited to try this out. I think anything for the scalp is good. I do have scalp like psoriasis, especially on the back like crown of my head and it's been really bad lately. I'm not quite sure why, but it's been really bad lately. So I'm hoping that this will help me. I think it's just maybe the weather or like I've been working out a little bit more than normal. So maybe like the sweat gets trapped there, but really excited to try this out. And then real quick, we'll just kind of like talk about a couple things that I found. So I'm honestly having regrets that I didn't buy any of those Halloween handbags. They were so cute and I feel like I hadn't seen them a ton on like TikTok shop with me's for Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So I feel like that was a really amazing find and I should have bought something, but I was trying to be good. I was trying to restrain myself and have a little bit of self-control and not just like buy whatever I wanted. But I swear those Halloween handbags were so cute. I really should have bought one. I'm having major, major regrets about that. And then I really wish that they had some Halloween PJs. I've been on the hunt for Halloween PJs for the longest time. They had those like fall ones, but I wish I found some Halloween ones. And not a whole lot of fall body care, to be honest. I'm kind of sad that I didn't find more. Um... I really was hoping to find some philosophy kind of stuff, but I didn't really find that. So we'll have to do another shop with me probably sometime soon because I really want to score some good stuff. But at least we found a ton of candles and some really good fun scents and some really fun, cool packaging. So anyways, that is everything for today's shop with me video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below if you've been shopping recently, like what's your favorite fall hygiene find that you found recently. I feel like there's got to be some good stuff out there, but I just didn't find it at my store. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!